you have a piece of stock squared up and you're going to be drilling on it on a mill this one's a harbor freight mill or any mill you can use um, it's important to know how to locate your holes um, how to use a center drill and then finish it off with a regular twist drill so the first thing when you are locating um, it's easiest, most common to use an edge finder. I don't have an edge finder, but in this case, I'll just be using my center drill as my edge finder. And to start off, I also have my part. It's already seated on parallels, and um, so I know that it is parallel to my table here. First, I'm going to locate the Y position of my holes, and you always want to locate, if you can't locate on your part, you always want to locate on your fixed jaw, not your adjustable jaw, because especially on mine, it can be pretty wobbly and it might not be straight. So you always want to indicate on your fixed jaw and you always want to locate on your fixed jaw. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm just gonna crank my Y until I hit my fixed jaw with the center drill. Now I know that this center drill is has a quarter inch body so as soon as I hit the side, I can look down here and set that to zero. So that every time I hit, it comes to zero. That means I am uh, one eighth of an inch off of my fixed jaw, which is the same position as the top of my part. I know that it's one eighth of an inch because that is half of my body diameter, my center drill. So I want to be half of an inch down so that I'm halfway in the middle of my part. I'm already an eighth of an inch down, so I want to come down three eighths of an inch more. And each um, rotation on the Harbor Freight Mill is a sixteenth of an inch, so I'll do six rotations out. One, two, three, four, five, six. And it's important to come back past the zero and then come from it the other direction and lock it in place. The reason why you come from it from that direction is because that's the direction we located in and that eliminates the error from lashback. So we should be halfway down our part. In the other direction, it's a similar process. I'm going to bring my drill down and then come over until it hits my part. I'll do that a couple times, seeing where it touches over here. And I'll adjust it a little bit so that every time I feel it touch, it hits on zero. Now that is set to zero, I can bring my drill up again. Now that I have this table set to zero. I can bring my Z up and bring this over an eighth of an inch. Um, now my center, the drill is in line with the center of my part and I can move over the amount that I need to. I'm gonna move over 177 thousandths, so that will be an eighth of an inch. It's 125, 135, 145, 155, 165, 175, 177 and lock my table. And now I am halfway down my part, which is one inch long, and 177 thousandths in, and I'm ready to make my hole. Now I'm gonna start it with a center drill. These are a little bit um, tougher than a regular twist drill. It's not gonna bend. These things can bend a little bit. So start it with my center drill. Drill all the way up the pilot and a little bit up the tapered section and then I'm going to swish it out with my twist drill to finish it to size. When you're using the center drill, it's important that you start off gently. Um, doesn't matter quite as much in an aluminum part, but especially in steel or something harder, the tip can easily break off. So you start gently, and after you get to the tapered section, it is less likely to break. 
Now I'm gonna put in my twist drill and finish the hole. I haven't changed my X or Y location, so I'm ready to drill again in the same location. And now we have our hole. It's the correct size, 530 seconds, and the correct location, 177 thousandths in and a half inch down. I have another hole that's symmetric on the other side, um, and one in the center with a bigger drill bit. Now I've located the other edge um, the same way as I located the first edge from the other side. I haven't moved my Y at all because this hole is still centered, and that means I'm ready to drill again. Now I'm back at my right edge, and I'm going to feed over 11 sixteenths to get in the middle of my part in that direction and locate another hole. There's 11 sixteenths, that should be directly in the center, looks about right, and I'll go ahead and drill. Now for this hole, it's gonna be a 5 8 uh, but I don't have a 5 8 on hand, so I'm using this step bit, and I've marked the 5 8 diameter in black so that I can tell how deep I need to drill. Cutting bigger holes, it's a good idea to add oil. That is how you locate and drill holes precisely on a milling machine like this Harbor Freight milling machine. Hope you found the video useful. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe.